So this is a test. State of Louisiana, where is the capital located? Here's a hint, here's their capital building. Stay with me, I tell you a little bit about Baton Rouge. Thanks for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. My name is Scott. I am your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing with you, my beloved viewer, uh, the places we go, the people we meet, the RV lifestyle, van life, and today we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, middle of December. And because one of the nice gentlemen that I met at the state library where I was doing some work right over there, he told me this is the Capitol building. I probably would have missed the whole thing. Here's my message today. We're going to show you a little bit about Baton Rouge. Um, if you have not been here, um, it's a cool stop. Uh, probably one or two days, maybe an overnight. Um, I would definitely hit this. This is one of the most unique Capitol buildings I've ever seen. And I've been in probably mm, close to nine or ten of them. And this one's it's like a hotel lobby inside, as you uh, will see. And in fact, it's been used in movies really recently with a, a um, Tom Hanks movie. But my point today is, well, the rig is important. The floor plan is important. The RV is important. Folks, the RV is just a tool. This is what it's all about. The RV is a tool to get out, see, taste, experience, grab your freedom. This is, to me, this has been an epiphany this week, and I thank you, my friend, Mr. Hicks, for cluing me in on this. He and I sat in Lily a couple of nights ago while I parked in his backyard visiting. Here's a picture of that. He's got a, uh, an Airstream interstate, which is awesome. And we're just talking about the channel, talking about RV lifestyle, talking about how, how he uses my, his rig versus how I use mine. Both are perfectly fine. Whichever mode you're in, in the RV lifestyle journey, whether you're kind of a weekend guy like he is, you're out for a few months, you're full time and like me. The point of the RV is it is a tool to get you off the couch, get you out of your comfort zone and get you out experiencing this thing. I literally am passing through to Florida. Um, I zoomed in here from Houston at, I left Houston at 3.30 this morning. Um, I arrived here about seven o'clock, been working all day uh, from the rig, from the library, which closes at two o'clock. Imagine that, kind of weird. Anyway, by talking to the gentleman, I learned this is the Capitol building and here I am, a whole new set of experiences. And that's what this is about. That's what this is about. So while I'm gonna disappoint a bunch of you because you wanna hear about gas mileage and you wanna hear about you know, waste, waste holding tanks and all that's important. We make a lot of videos about that. But my plea for you is to take a minute and pause that the RV is a tool to getting to here or wherever it is you want to go. It's a tool to your freedom. And when I have days like this, it just brings me back to the miraculousness of the rig, the RV lifestyle, the internet, being able to work from the road. Um, and that's what today's message is about. In addition to sharing a little bit about Baton Rouge, which is pretty cool. Um, so thank you. Uh, enjoy this a uh, little bit about Baton Rouge, the Capitol State Grounds. This is why we Travato. Wow. Refinery, Mississippi River. Tourists like me. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> and not uh, unexpected. Yeah. This is so cool. Downtown Baton Rouge. State Library, that's where I worked. This is the uh, battleship. Been there. Different video. This is southeast, south, west. So again, this is what the whole thing's about. It's just out exploring. Being a digital nomad, um, the RV, while super important, it is simply a tool to this, this freedom, this uh, way to explore, learn, share with you. And I gotta tell you, 2020 uh, is just around the corner. This is mid-December, 2019. My question for you is, what is your plan to get on the road? What's holding you back? Some of you have le really legitimate issues, reasons, family, kids, maybe health issues. But man, is there a way to overcome that? And if you're not, I just so appreciate you being along for the journey. Maybe I can be your feet. My new cowboy boots. <laughs> Eyes, what do you think? Eyes, uh, to share this with you. Even though you're not here physically, you can be there uh, with me along the journey. But for the rest of you, what in the heck is holding you back? Get your rig, practice it before you retire and then maybe even work from the road. Get this freedom, just again, grab your freedom. So I've got Luke and Lily parked right here. It's just a short walk to the uh, library where I just came from. Um, this looks like a historic site here. We'll see if we can figure out what that is. Let's look at this lovely park. This is actually where I was parked earlier today, it is right here. So that was my corporate cubicle view. And then down here, again, this is looking north now, is, here you want to see? <laughs> um, so this is Louisiana, and like Texas, this is oil and gas country, boys and girls. And I gotta tell you, I have tremendous respect for the men and women in the oil and gas industry. They get a lot of bum rap. And I gotta tell you, without this, we would be riding horses and using candles. There would be no internet, probably. I just love the sight of refineries, particularly at night when you can see every, it looks like a little tiny city. Um, and then they got the flares. I don't see a flare, they're kind of hard to see in the daytime, um, where they're gassing off stuff. Um, but it's just been the most amazing thing. Um, paddle boat. Pond. So this is the state of Louisiana, Capitol Complex. We're in the Capitol building. Governor's Mansion is right here. Zoom in there for you. Yep, yeah, that's the Governor's Mansion, Louisiana. You can come in. This is this little park area here. And again, that's where I parked and worked this morning. So this is on the 27th floor, uh, the observation deck outside. Awesome, look at this not a person around. This is the way to do tour stuff. Uh, let's uh, go down to the first floor. Let me show you guys what this thing looks like. It looks, well, I'll let you be the judge what you think it looks like. Rolling down. First floor. getting ready for Christmas event tonight. So I speak with a nice lady and what's happening is they have a group of uh, uh, legislators moving out of office and a group moving into office based on the last election. So they're throwing a goodbye and a welcome party all together combined with the holidays, which is super cool. They got a little bar set up just in there. Um, so amazing to be here. By complete accident, I assure you. State of Louisiana House Chambers. Playing Christmas music. Is that awesome or what? Look at the candles. So I ask you, is this the most uncapital capital building you've ever seen? Look at this. You guess it. That's Santa on a zip line.
headed to the Senate side of the Capitol. Check out these oak trees. These are oak trees. Look at the length of the, uh, the width of the limbs. How old do you think this tree is? 100 years? Ooh, easily over 100. Yeah, well, easily over 100. Probably 250, 300. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Holy cow. That's a gorgeous tree. Absolutely. Thank you. So the state employees verify this is a three, two to 300 year old tree. Look at this thing. Is that cool? That's an amazing tree. Look how low it gets to the ground over here. So as you know, this is one of the beauties of a Class B RV. There's Lily in the standard parking spot. It fits right in the spot. In the spot. That's why Class Bs are so cool. Let's see what Luke's doing. Uh oh, there's Van Lave Luke. 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 So hope you enjoyed that video. A little bit of inspiration, a little bit of education. That's how we like to roll here at Go Small, Live Large. If you got something out of that, give it a thumb up. Sure appreciate that. Give a comment or a question down below. Some resource links are in the, uh, co the, uh, the video notes down below as well. And as always, I really appreciate you watching today. And as always, I wish you to journey on and grab your freedom. Let's go. Drinking, that's just wasting time